Colorado County fed up, fuming, and frustrated tonight. Schools are so packed that some kids are being rezoned. Parents tell News Channel 8 they've had it. The parents maintain school leaders misled them, promising that a school choice option would help. But today, on day one of the application process, certain schools are not available. Our Melanie Michael sat down with parents tonight. And Mel, what do they have to tell you? Hey, Jen, good evening to you. These parents and families are so upset, they have filed three separate lawsuits challenging the school district. Moms and dads tell us they are fighting for the rights of their kids. They spoke from the heart. So we didn't ask for it. We didn't invite it. We didn't cause it. We came here specifically for the schools, and now um, we're being kicked out of those schools. These Pasco parents sat down with News Channel 8 to share their stories talking openly and honestly about seeing their children rezoned due to overcrowding, a process they call unfair and unacceptable. Moms and dads tell us they feel manipulated and misled by school leaders. I mean, I brought my family here, and I did what I needed to do as far as research, and now I'm no longer welcome at that school. It doesn't seem that the school board is really thinking about the kids. They keep saying, I'm really, really sorry. I know it must be hard but uh, we have to do it. Pasco school leaders maintain they have worked hard to come up with a compromise, hoping to help children who have to move schools, an option they call school choice, where parents can apply for campuses they prefer. But on the very first day of the application process, the places parents wanted to opt in were frozen out. As it stands right now, they're saying that that school is frozen. Mitchell is frozen because it's over capacity. So how do you solve a problem this massive? One mom used a hotel analogy to explain her idea. When you reach capacity at that hotel, you do not ask current um, guests to leave and be kicked out of that hotel. You simply say no vacancy. They move on to the next hotel that has vacancy. So as you can see, a lot of passion from those parents tonight. And you know, school leaders told me earlier today that parents are still encouraged to be a part of the application process, Jen, because those kids just may get the request granted. So don't give up, they tell us, just yet. Jen? Well, Mel, what about those lawsuits? What's next with those? Well, that is going to be a big issue coming up. This story is far from over. The school leaders are going to be meeting with attorneys coming up on February 7th in a closed-door meeting. Media will not be allowed inside, but you can bet eight on your side will be close by getting answers, Jen, so stay tuned. A lot of parents eager to hear what happens. Melanie Michael, live in Pasco County for us tonight. Thank you.